Single in the City. I'm Michelle Sade. And I'm Marcelle Sade. And I'm LJ Cooper. Okay, LJ. So tell us, LJ, are you single or are you in a relationship? Okay, that is really a difficult question. I not in a relationship, and the reason why I say that is because I have what is called I call him my play play husband. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And I have been with this man for like I can't believe myself. This year, it had been twenty ten, seven years. Mm -hmm. Seven years? He hasn't yes. given you a ring. No ring. Play play husband. So he agrees so to the play. Ha 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 ha! That means you live together, right? No, not right now. Oh, but you we have in the past. Okay. That, okay. That's part of our bond. Right. So you guys played house. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the status now? The status is I really want to let him go. I want to let him go, but my heart, for whatever reason, keeps clinging on to this man. Oh, but, yeah. but there's not gonna be. But you know, it's really not a future, and it's like. My girlfriend's tell me he's, you know, he's holding you down. He's negative energy. You know, oh, oh. So what, what energy is it that he's giving off that's negative? Yeah. He told me like about last week. He says, oh, you know, I don't know. I'm just like sitting on the fence. What I want to do, you know, with us or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Mm, sitting on the fence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. You don't follow away. Follow away. Baby, okay. I ain't going to know like, do I look all right for my age or whatever, but he's younger than I am. That's what I was about to ask. <laughs> how, how much younger? younger? How, old how, much younger? <laughs> how much younger? How old is he? How much younger? 18 years. 18 years. I said 10. You said 10? 10 years. 47. Okay. Okay. See? He's in his 40s. 47 still playing yeah. games. She said 47. Um... I think they still play games till 99. Right. So. Oh, yes. But, Definitely. Yeah. They are going. <laughs> That's me. I don't know. To the vein don't come up no more. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For real. So, basically, you're fed up. Is he dating other people? He tells me no, but I don't believe him. Are you in an exclusive relationship still? Supposedly. Okay. Supposedly. That's one reason that he says he stays with me. Because he says, you know, I'm just too old to be going out here, uh, getting the age in my age. Oh. So that's just one, one philosophy reason for staying with me. Right. And he doesn't want to get any other, any more babies with, you know, younger women. So yeah. you didn't tell us how is he bringing your your vibe. The vibe is bringing you down. Like you didn't tell us what it is about him that brings you down. Yeah, the negative energy that he's putting out that your girlfriend was talking about. He's a sender, he's a sender feller, uh, and that's a term, term that I coin mm -hmm. uh, in my world. He's basically a scrub. Mm -hmm. He is. I mean, he's an attractive man, even though he's getting older. To me, what was so attractive to me when I first met him, he was like when I was in college, the ideal guy that I wanted to date. Okay. Athletic mm -hmm. and good looking, intelligent, with a touch of thug. Okay. And. In some ways, he's like a soulmate to me. Okay. And I mean that by, I've been divorced since 2003. I was married for 20 years. I haven't dated anybody else like him that has, besides his bad negative habits of, he only he only wants to work the same thing. He only wants to work when he wants to work. Oh, wow. It's a basic issue. Oh, so oh, he's wow. lazy. He's a sender filler. Yeah. So, so he take out the trash. But when I first <laughs> met him, but now, when I first met him, oh, he, he had a good job, point. made eighteen dollars an hour, going towards twenty. He got comfortable. Did yeah. you allow him to get comfortable? Because a lot of things that we so, as women we allow them to do. Does he have substance abuse? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because I hear you saying certain yes. things, I'm picking up yes. on you know my psychic powers. <laughs> no. Okay, so it's on right. him. It's not what you allow. It's basically. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's he's what's what's first of all when they have substance abuse, the focus is off. Oh yeah. So goal oriented is like out the window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. You forget you. about it. I agree. So 
Let, so, me, let me tell you. Go ahead. One reason that I think that I am so attracted to him and attached to him is because, like I tell him, um, you are a baby Donnie Lee. Donnie Lee was my, was my baby brother, and they did meet. He had leukemia. He oh. had it for like 18 months, and he just passed us for Oh, wow. I said, you are just so much like him. Uh -huh. His mannerisms, his humor. Right. And I think that's one reason why I'm so drawn to him. Mm. Oh, yeah. I see that I see be. him, my brother, in him. Right. Because that's kind of weird. No, no, I get it. No, no, no. I get yeah. it. I get it completely. Yeah, demeanor. Yeah, I get it completely. Especially if they're under the same sign, you know, one person going out of your life. And so I've heard this from people, like when one dies and then someone else come in at the same sign and demeanor and everything. She talked about reincarnation. No. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Later, no. But that, that's not what I was saying. But, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so that's why you're attracted to him. I mean, we're all the reasons. Yeah, we do know that we're attracted to people for different reasons, and you feel like you can't let go. And he's putting you on the sidelines right now. Yeah. I mean, for him to for you to be living together and not living together no, now, and then. That. It's like taking a step back. Yes. And I think you should take I think you should take advantage of that. Step back. Mm -hmm. It could be a plus for you. You know? It really could. I don't know. I believe in signs. I feel like when someone is trying to step out of your life, I feel like God is giving that room for someone else to step in. They may be better better energy, you know, better for you. So that's just how I feel about it. I know it may be hard. It's, it's easier said than done, basically. So. And I already told him, I told him, uh, you know what, we had this conversation a little bit ago. I said to him, I said, you know what, I wish I, I told him just like this, I said, I wish I had a dick, but I don't, to teach you how to be a man. Because you are just so immature. He has always had a woman or female in his life. His mom got killed when he was young. He lived with his aunt. Right. And then after that time frame, he met a lady that he worked for that he has known 17 years. Uh -huh. And that's who he's living with now. Uh -huh. Now, who wouldn't want to basically live somewhere where you basically don't have to pay rent? So right. that's why I basically call him a Cinderella. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he's living with someone else now? Yes. Mm -hmm. That has to hurt. Mm -hmm. And she's taking care of him. Basically, yes. Oh, and she's like 65 years old. But it's like, but honestly, he goes <laughs> older, the older the better. That's what's going on. But honestly, I would look at it as like, oh, that bills off me. Or that, you know, that's off yeah. my back. It's like because he was definitely a weight on you. Definitely. That's, right? what thought, that's what I meant about when I said earlier about the negative energy. Yes. Too much weight and about him being a man. You know, if I could teach him how to be a man, but I can't. Was he just so, laying around and creating holes in the couches? Like, what kind of. What was she he just. Doing? And the thing about it is that like, this lady, I used to like clean her house. The same lady? Yes. He got oh my, job. my gosh. Not the yes. same lady. Listen now, yes, y'all. She, and she, like, whenever he's messing up or whatever, is he with you? She texts me. Oh no. She texts me. How did she meet him? Hold up. How did she meet him? I told you. How did she meet him? I told you. She's the lady that, after the period of when he uh, got out of college and so forth, got a job. He met the lady and he worked for her. He's known her 17 years. Oh, he worked for her. Oh, it starts sleeping with the boss. Whatever, yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. he sleeping with her when y'all was together? He tells me no, but I don't believe him. Okay. Bad. So he left since you for her. Huh? He left you for her. He's not left her. He still lives with her. No, I'm saying mm -hmm. when he moved out of your place, he moved, he moved, he moved with to her. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But he's still talking Ooh. to you. Huh. But he's oh. still, and she's texting her saying, is he is over he with there? You? Oh, my God. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is a that's, not, that's not even the kicker. Now listen to this, y'all. Is this not wild? When she goes out of town anywhere, 
she doesn't feel comfortable in him being in the house by herself. Himself. Himself. So she wants oh. me to man sit or babysit him. Oh. And so you just go over there and sleep with him at my house. <laughs> right. <laughs> Baby. Think that wild. I got it now. It's just going to be a good movie. It's all real. Oh my God. <laughs> so you, so LJ, you made a song Ooh. up over this guy. Oh my gosh, we gotta hear this. You made a song up, did you? Come on, we wanna sit. We wanna hear this song right now. So get up. You need the beat? Show us. How we gonna get the beat? How you want the beat? Look. <laughs> what are you, you talking about? Broke ass man. Yeah. Oh. Come on, we need to see this song right now. Alright? Let's hear it. Come on. I catch the beat. Come on. I go. Oh, nobody wants a broke ass man. Not a broke ass man. You seem to don't understand that you're not my man. Yeah, we had chemistry, it's off the chain. It was off the chain. But you like a bitch, you just call me pain. Call me pain. Oh! What? She got Larry's face. a whole CD about this man. <laughs> a whole CD? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. You that little boy? Yeah. Girl. Sending you a notice. You've been wasting my time. Now I'm about to charge you with a federal crime. I'm sending you a notice. I've been wasting my time. You're going to be charged now with a federal crime. Well, you know it's been almost seven years. Shed a lot of heartaches. One million tears. Well, you know what's going to do. Gonna tell everybody, no more baby, me and you. I'm sending you a notice. That's the next one we record. Ain't that pretty? Oh, okay. she didn't practice so it. So you did the studio recording. Yes, man. And making a whole album. Got, got off this, this man. Thing. Come on. Girl. You gonna make it? And I told him when I get bombed. He's supposed to be bombed. He's supposed to be bombed. Oh, man. Yes, man. So, what advice would you like to give LJ? <laughs> No, it's not the versa. No, yeah. Because I can yeah. walk away from it. Yeah. At my age, I don't have to, you know, I don't need to crave sex like I did, like I used but, to, for you real. Know, for he's real. young, so you know, yeah. girl. Oh, it's yeah. It's going down. Oh. Yeah. No, but you know what? I do really, seriously, though. At some point in life, I am going to cut him out of my life. I am. And it's going to hurt. I know it's going to hurt. Yeah. But like, I'm going to have to. I know. You're like, not I right know now. dating <laughs> is hard when you get older because. You don't want to go to the club. You don't want to be, you don't do those things. Mm -hmm. I would say my advice to you is to try the internet dating. Um, probably I one have. of those oh, you sites. Have. I won't want to say the sites, okay. but you know. Mega Mates. <laughs> definitely not Penny and Fish. <laughs> no. Okay, don't go on there. No, no but um, I didn't hear anything good about that one. You know. But you know, but, but the thing about it, there are other men that I could date. Right. But I just have this weird attachment and commitment to him. Yeah. Is it because That's... he's younger and the other men are older? Some of them are younger too. They're younger too. Okay, so that's not it. Mm -mm. I mean, you can't get them out of your system, can you? No. What is it? Let's take him yeah. X Black and let him go, right? What is it? Why you can't get yeah. them out of your system? I don't know. It's just like, in a way, I feel like he's my soulmate. And the other thing, the similarity to my brother. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I know. And then I see I see his potential. I see what he could be. Uh, LJ, I hate to tell you this, but he has moved on. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to keep it real with you. He's moved in. When you move in with someone, you have completely moved on. Like, you have to think about that. You have to go through that in your mind. You have to pack your clothes. You have to pack right. your things to actually move in with someone. That's a big step. And that means that he has released everyone from his soul. So, basically, 
I think that you need to move on and keep dating, keep going on dates, keep doing, you know, keep meeting more people. And I know he's hard to, but eventually you will stop thinking about him. Take some time. Yeah, it, it is. And I hadn't seen him for like two months. He was so upset because I didn't want to go home with him for Christmas. And his family was asking, you know, where was I? And I wouldn't I go back and him. forth with him when yeah. he lives with someone. No. That's important not to do. Because if you're going to be the side chick, you're going to always be the side chick. He's right. never going to be truthful to you and good to you. Because how he's going to leave you and then now you're the side chick? No, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's like an ex has to be an ex and you move on. Like, I would never go back to my ex and be the side chick when I was the main. No. Yeah. I was not that. No. So, you know, basically, what's your advice? Let's hear it. <laughs> it is a difficult one because it's seven years. Yeah, it is. I just feel like it was a long, it was way drawn out. It's been like, long gone to the point that he left you didn't get a chance to leave him so I know it hurts more whenever you know they leave us or you know or do you feel like he left you because I see you know you, mm -hmm. did he and, leave you or did you well he packed up he left yeah and I feel like if someone left me of course my self-esteem will kind of be down like why you would be so concerned of why 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 are you concerned? I'm the total opposite. You leave me, I'm good. Are you just no? Like, because no. I know why he did it. Because he basically has free rent. Oh. That's why he did it. He had yeah. no rent to live. He's coming back with me. He's in big, bigger pockets. Oh. He's in bigger pockets. That's what that is. I see. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, and that, that's 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 cold. That is cold. You know. Well, I mean, I feel like that's an example of you holding down someone like. Is he the type of person that's working on himself or getting better or? That's his main excuse to me. I got to get me right. Oh, so you gonna go yeah, get right. first? Yeah. yeah. You gotta get a job to get right first. Right. And this man, he gets, I mean, he gets good jobs, but he does not keep them for long. Mm. That's not Yeah, because he has substance abuse, that's why. Uh, that's mm. what that is, so. He keeps coming He's back been to in that. treatment. Yeah, he's no, not serious. You just gotta let that hit. So, do you have any hobbies? Headache. Yes, I sing. You're right. Yeah, so that that's a good outlet. Mm -hmm. Oh, hobbies. Because singing, yeah. singing. Oh my gosh, that's a good outlet. Even music, just listening to music mm -hmm. is a good outlet. You know, put your train of thought and frame your mind frame and everything. It's like so. Your mindset is different when you listen to music. Right. Especially mm -hmm. upbeat music. It's so, like, music is so... Soothing. Yeah, it's uh -huh. soothing. It Relaxing. It does change yeah. your mood. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be mad, and you turn on some nice, upbeat music, and you start singing, and, ah, and you're in a better mood. And you're yeah. So that, for all you anger management people, <laughs> right. keep your music there, okay? So basically, that's your advice. What's with the celebrity game? Oh, go ahead. Time. All right, mm -hmm. all right. So, okay. Smash, what is it? Smash it? Smash or pass? Or pass. Okay, we have Denzel Washington or Michael Jordan. Mm. Denzel. Oh, gosh, she's Denzel. Denzel. Denzel? Oh, wow. Okay, who else we got? Who else we got? Um, uh, Michael Jordan. 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 Let's do Tom Cruise. Right. Or Jim Carrey. <laughs> Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you got me right. I <laughs> just throw anybody out there. <laughs> Jim Carrey. All right, let's see. Eddie Murphy or who? Mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy or James Brown. <laughs> I mean, he's passed away. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Ray Charles. Ray Charles. <laughs> I will say. I mean, if they were alive. I think Ray Charles. Oh, that's I good. Such an interesting yeah, he is character. Yeah, I mean, I saw the history of that. He was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for um, tuning in to Single in the City. You can catch me on Instagram. 
um, Michelle underscore Sade number seven. And um, be sure to leave comments. We want to hear from you on your comments and everything. And Marshall? Uh, my name is Marshall Sade on everything Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So, LJ, do you have any social media? Not at this time, but I'm working on my music and it's forthcoming. Very soon. Okay, let us know because we'd like to hear your music and, you know, let everybody know about it. All right. Bye.